Hi, and welcome back for another episode of 40 Something Gay here on SomeLikeIt'sScott.com. Well, I wrote a blog a while back about Zumba class. Now, for those of you who don't know, this is a group fitness class that's based in Latin ballroom dancing, and it's very, very aerobic. So basically, you just schwitz for an hour with, you know, 40 complete strangers. But it's a really fun class, and I highly recommend it. What I find so interesting about the whole thing is that, well, for where I take it, frankly, it's basically 37 overweight Hispanic women with the thinnest eyebrows you could ever possibly draw on, and me and, like, two other guys. One straight guy who looks like a block of cheese and this, you know, like, flaming guy who came, started taking class about two months ago, and now he's an expert. He's been to Zumba to be certified, and he's going to start a Zumba program at his work so that all of his people at work can get into Zumba. And he's had three Facebook hits this week, comments about Zumba, and he's watched all the videos on YouTube, and he's very, very excited about Zumba. <sighs> These people make me crazy. The other people who make me crazy in these group fitness classes when you take them at a gym are the people who have to be right up front and right by the teacher, right up their ass. And look at me, I'm doing it, I'm kicking as high as the teacher, I'm kicking higher. Like, what is that all about? I mean, we're all there to work out, so let's just work out, not worry about, you know, trying to impress one another. So those two type of personalities always crack me up. But perhaps my favorite in a fitness class is when you see the really large overweight people, and God bless them, I'm so glad that they're getting up and moving and, and good for them. But what cracks me up is that you'll see them, and they're not really like working out like the rest of us. They're not really doing everything full out. You know, I, I was a dancer and I was a choreographer, so, so I do it full out. You know, I'm trying to kick over my head and everything like that, trying to do the best I can to make myself sweat, you know. And um, they're sort of just stepping to the music. But every once in a while, it, even that becomes too much for them. So what they'll do is they'll just stop completely and they do this. Now, they don't look at their watch to get their heart rate or anything. They just do this. So I think it's one of the greatest things in the world, right? So if you're ever in a group fitness class and you feel like you kind of don't want to do what the teacher's doing or what everyone else is doing, you just stop and do that. Everyone will be impressed. They'll think you're looking at your heart, thinking about your feeling your heart rate, when actually you're thinking about why didn't you go to Taco Bell and could you get nachos and how many, how many pounds have you worked off so you could possibly eat an entire box of Thin Mint Girl Scout cookies. Yeah, all this goes on in group fitness class. But what I find so frustrating and tiring is the whole dynamic of it all. The little favorite students that, you know, I just want to work out. I stand in the middle to the back of the room. I work out as best as I can to sweat as much off as I can so that I can eat whatever I want and still not lose any weight. You know, that's all I'm trying to do there. I'm not trying to be the favorite. I'm not trying to be the best. I'm not trying to wear the Zumba clothes. I'm not trying to do anything else. And I'm certainly not standing around taking my fake heart rate. Anyway, if you haven't been to a Zumba class, you should go. And trust me, you'll see it all. Thanks for joining me for another episode of 40-something gay right here on somelikeitscott.com. It's to us who's like us. Damn.